Keegan Murray is legitimately the motherfucking truth. Or Sacramento Kings. Like, I, I'm, like, not even trying to be, like, joking or anything at this point. But I think Keegan Murray can play three positions. Like, it's starting to look like he could play shooting guard, small forward, or power forward. They could go big, and they could run a lineup where it's Sabonis, Rashawn Holmes, Harrison Barnes, Keegan Murray, and De'Aaron De Fox. Holy crap, the size there. And then that would also help the, you know, the defensive limitations that our man Sabonis has. But we could also see lineups where they could run Davion Mitchell, Kevin Herter, De'Aaron Fox, Keegan Murray, and Sabonis, okay, if they wanted to. Or Sabonis, Barnes, Keegan Murray, Herter, and De'Aaron Fox, which is probably the most likely starting lineup. Like tonight, they ran Fox, Herter, Barnes, KZ Okapala, and DeMontis Sabonis, and they had. You know, Murray played 20 plus minutes off the bench. You know, Casey Okapal, he's a lengthy guy. This is a team that they, they got length shooters. I think we're kind of seeing who's going to be on the team right now. I know Rashawn Holmes missed the game for an illness, non COVID related. And then Chimmy Maneki and Sam Merrill and Quinn Cook did not play. And personally, I don't mean to be rude, but I could see that Quinn Cook and Sam Merrill being definitely two guys that are getting cut. And then with Trey Lyles, we'll talk about Keegan Murray in a second, but Trey Lyles, Chemsey Metu, Kent Bazemore, Keegan Murray right there, plus the starting lineup of, you know, they already have nine guys right there. Lynn 10, Mitchell, Davis, Monk, Delavadova. That's like your 14. And then Kieta's on a two-way. I believe Keon Ellis is also on a two-way. And then Rayshon Holmes is your 15th. You know, maybe they cut Alex Lynn. I don't know. Who do you think they'll cut, guys? They have to cut. I think they're cutting Quinn Cook and Sam Merrill, but who else will they cut? Maybe may, maybe it is Matthew Delvadova. I'm just biased. I really love Matthew Delvadova, and I don't want But let's talk about Keegan Murray. He came out here, shot five for six, and it was all three-pointers. Okay. He went to the free throw line. He had some rebounds. And this is just something that we're seeing from Keegan Murray is that he continues to just – do away like you know for me it's just the kings have had such i think a good off season i think mike brown is doing what needs to be done okay and instilling the right ethics and fundamentals in this basketball team and still in a culture and for me i think every time i watch them i see a little bit more defense I see a little bit more edge and the crazy part is, is keegan murray is now averaging basically like 19 points through like the two preseason games he's leading the you know the kings in points per game and he's also i know it's only like two games he's a good rebounder he can play a multiple two to positions and for me when i look at this team i really do think it's this team has the potential to be a lot better than one would suggest and that's due to the fact that I think, like, you got Davion Mitchell. Okay, first off, I look at this team, and I think this team's, like, not as bad as people think. If you look at their, their roster currently, and for me, I think the, the, you know, the regular, just if you just looked at the team as a whole, I think it's not that bad. And that's to the fact that this team, first off, Center position of Alex Lynn and arguably Rashawn Holmes being the, you know, and Nemes Kieta, Kieta being the main center rotation gets on a two-way. And then Chemsey Metu, Trey Lyles, and Demonte Sabonis all at the power forward spot. And I guess Chemsey, not Chemsey, Chima Maneki stays on the team. And then also Harrison Barnes and Keegan Murray can, greet, you know, moonlight at power forward if Sabonis wants to play some center. I think this team is deep, especially at the wing position with, you know, Maneki, Ellis, Barnes, Murray, Terrence Davis, Kevin Herter. Okay, even Dre Lyles could step down to small forward if needed. And then you got Kemp Bazemore who can play some wing. And then you got Casey Okapalo who can play some wing. And even if you wanted to go super small, Malik Monk could play some wing. And then you go down. I really like the the shooting guard of, you know, Kevin Herter, Tev, Terrence Davis, Kent Bazemore, Malik Monk, all guys who play shooting guard, and Davion Mitchell as well. And then the point guard rotation. My dog's like showing up. Hello, girl. You're a good girl. 
my dog saying hello you like the you like the sacramento kings baby are you a sacramento kings fan yeah you like that we're talking about keegan murray do you think keegan murray is the truth yeah keegan murray is the truth he's a good basketball player hmm and yeah so and i think it's gonna all be fine really i truly do so let me hear your thoughts down below what do you guys think of this team